In a twist of events following the tragic death of Marathona Kiptum, Kenyans are questioning the relationship between him and the legendary athlete Eliud Kipchoge. Allegations have surfaced, with some suggesting that Kipchoge viewed Kiptum as a rival. However, recent findings have exposed on Kipchoge's early recognition of Kiptum's potential long before the public eye caught on Kiptum. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Now, since Kiptum's demise in a road accident, social media has been abuzz with speculations, portraying Eliud Kipchoge as Kiptum's adversary. Critics point out Kipchoge's supposed failure to acknowledge Kiptum's record breaking achievements as evidence of animosity. Yet, new information reveals Kipchoge's foresight regarding Kiptum's ascent in the athletic world. During the Isuzu D-Max launch in May 2023, Kipchoge prophesied Kiptum's future triumph, foreseeing the young athlete's potential to shatter records. And just months later, in October 2023, Kiptum made history by becoming the first marathoner to break the two hours, one minute barrier, surpassing Kipchoge's previous record set in 2022. Now, despite expectations for Kipchoge to publicly comment Kiptum's accomplishment, his silence stirred controversy. However, in an interview preceding Kiptum's victory, revealed Kipchoge's admiration for Kiptum's ability and character, indicating genuine support. Now, following Kiptum's untimely demise, online communities directed blames towards Kipchoge questioning his motives for not acknowledging Kiptum earlier through his social media accounts. Accusation of Kipchoge's involvement in Kiptum's downfall emerged, yet the reality suggests otherwise. For instance, this is how some Kenyans reacted when Eliud Kipchoge posted Kiptum's demise on his social media pages. One Kenyan said, we care less about your condolences message. You barely sent any congratulatory message to him when he was alive. You are such a hypocrite. Another Kenyan said, You didn't congratulate Kevin Kiptum when he broke the marathon record, but now you have the audacity to send a condolences message. Another Kenyan added saying, Hypocrite, you quick to mourn him, but you congratulating him when he beat you hands down is where you draw the line. Another person added saying, I don't understand why people don't give you flowers while you can still smell them. And if you go on Twitter, Kenyans are currently accusing Eliud Kipchoge of not congratulating Kiptum while he was still alive. But if you go on Google and just Google this word, you'd see that Eliud Kipchoge had actually predicted that Kiptum would eventually beat him, hands down. If you go to Google and uh, maybe, uh, you Google this word, you'll find this article on Nation Media Group. I Google these words, watch out for him, Kipchoge names the man to break two hours marathon barrier. If you see, this is what Kipchoge foretold about Kiptum's win. And guess what? Six months later down the line, Kipchoge's prophecy came to pass, with Kiptum beating him hands down. Now this proves that Kipchoge and Kiptum never had any enmity, and actually Kipchoge knew that Kiptum was a great runner who was coming to light eventually. Now, regarding competition between Kiptum and Kipchoge, it's essential to recognize the nature of marathon racing, with numerous events annually. Now, Kipchoge's limited participation in races make, makes it possible and improbable for him to hinder others from challenging his records. For instance, it is said every year we have like six marathon races, annually that is. And in these six uh, annual races, Kipchoge only participates in three. So you can imagine the remaining three, this would raise chances of other marathoners uh, beating Kipchoge's um, world record, right? So, at the end of the day, I don't think Kipchoge and Kiptum had any hidden animosity. Kipchoge had already noticed Kiptum 
earlier before any Kenyan knew that Kiptum existed somewhere. Right? Anyway, what are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts on our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's see you next time. Bye-bye.